I think the ultimate goal, obviously, is to help patients and help as many people as we can. Live Four years ago, here. Brian Radecki was ready to start a new chapter in his life. He had retired from his job working for a public company and was working with several startups when he learned about a therapy to help cancer patients that was being developed by NIH scientist Dr. Dan Fowler. I personally have a long history of cancer in my family. My father died of cancer, so I was very interested. And by the end of the lunch, we said, let's start a company. Let's take you know, all your life's work and really get it from the bench to the bedside and out to patients. You yeah. see, these are the CD4 cells I was telling you about. You Dr. Dan Fowler spent 27 years at NIH working on immunology trials where they treated hundreds of patients. It was through that work he realized he was ready to take his experience to the next level. So I had a great deal of confidence that we could take it to the um, outside of NIH and try to broaden uh, the number of people that we could treat and the number of different diseases that we could treat, applications, and the opportunity arose to do it here locally, which was important to me to build it here in Montgomery County. Radecki gathered a group of angel investors and started Rapa Therapeutics in September of 2017. Today, they have FDA approval to treat patients with multiple myeloma. These are my multiple myeloma cells. We can actually look at them like a, on a TV screen over there. And the results have been nothing short of amazing. This unique immunology therapy has resulted in a stage four patient who is now in complete remission. Multiple myeloma, you know, Dr. Fowler had extensive research on at NIH. Um, and had already done all of the phase one work, so we were able to move right into a phase two trial. So that was, a, you know, he was furthest along developing that technology. So we're currently in a phase two trial in multiple myeloma right now. Our very first patient went into a stringent complete remission. Our approach here at RAPA is to use non-genetically engineered T cells. So our manufacturing, we don't insert any genetic material into the cells. We try to use a natural power of the immune system to re reprogram itself. So that's how one way in which our therapy is a little bit differentiated from what's going on out there. Work is also underway at RAPA to treat small cell tumors like those that are found in diseases like lung cancer and breast cancer that have stopped responding to other immune therapy that is on the market. These are the more common tumors uh, that we know are potentially amenable to the patient's own immune system treating it. These are patients who's had a lot of the checkpoint monoclonal antibody therapies. They've already received those treatments. Maybe they responded initially and within a certain number of months they're uh, back with their disease. Those are the patients we want to accrue onto our study to look at our novel way of treating individuals with those type of tumors because we've taken the principles of what we're finding in myeloma and applying it to these other types of tumors. So that's in the future going to be hopefully a bigger part of our efforts here at RAPA. The company is also working on a treatment for ALS as another way to expand their platform. In ALS, the opposite of what happens with cancer occurs where the immune system is agitated and responding to things it should be quiet against. RAPA has developed technology that provides a new approach to neuroinflammation or other autoimmune diseases. It's a so-called Treg cell. Uh, we were able to develop a cell that has a hybrid function. It, it can act not only as a Treg cell, but also a Th2 cell. It's another form of uh, uh, immune regulatory cell. So we built a cell that has a bimodal function. So it can attack diseases in a couple different pathways and potentially be very resilient uh, once it's transfused back in the body. I mean, Montgomery County is an amazing place to start a biotech business because clearly you have NIH, which is the largest funding source for biotech anywhere in the world. And of course, you have the best doctors there, including Dr. Fowler. Um, so you're seeing a lot of the technology that's being developed there now being spun out into businesses and really, again, to get, get, those, get that technology from, you know, from the bench to the bedside, really getting it into patients. Dr. Fowler will tell you, even with the success they are seeing, they are capitalizing on every bit of information they have gathered to do even better. 
we like to celebrate, we're happy, but then very quickly we get down to reality and figure out what are we going to do with that information because your, your work's really never done. We have so many innovative companies doing some innovative things. And when you think about rapid therapeutics that's out there on the front lines, making sure that we can try and come up with new kinds of treatments for diseases like ALS and for multiple myeloma. I lost my chief of staff as well as my best friend's mother to ALS. These are things that are scourges in our community in which we've been trying for so long to find a cure. Just so fulfilling to hear after the patients are treated with our product that they are doing really well. To give people hope, to give people the idea that they might be able to extend their lives. And for Brian Radecki, the goal is simple but complicated at the same time. It's about helping as many people as they can live healthier, longer lives, keeping in mind those he has lost along the way. My dad would be so proud, so proud. I, I think, you know, he, he really was an amazing man. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, his life was cut short uh, by cancer. So, you know, and I have a long history of that in my family. So I think anything that I could do to help people that have gone through that, and you know, a lot of people know people that have been through, you know, people with cancer. Um, you know, that's 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 really would be for me, you know, the biggest prize.